Hey, what's going on everybody? So in this video, we're going to create a very simple banking program using Python. This is meant to be more of an exercise to get us used to working with functions. When creating a project, I like to divide that project into smaller sections, then handle them one at a time. So we'll do that by declaring all the functions we'll need first. With the banking program, we'll need to show a user their balance. We'll define a function to show balance. For the time being, I'll write pass just as a placeholder. We'll need to make a deposit, define deposit, make a withdrawal, define withdraw. Near the end of this project, we will be creating a main function and placing the main body of our code within it. We'll handle that near the end, just to contain everything. We have our three functions. With our banking program, we'll need to show a balance, make a deposit, or make a withdrawal. What are some variables we'll need? Well, we'll need a balance, which I will set to be zero initially. I will also create a Boolean of is running. This will be true. If at any time we set is running to be false, we'll exit the program. So with the majority of our code, we'll place it within a while loop while is running. You can check to see if this is equal to true, but since this is a Boolean, that's not necessary. We will just say while is running. If is running becomes false, we'll exit the while loop. Within our while loop, we'll print some sort of welcome message. Let's print banking program, then list some options. Let's print one show balance, two deposit, three will be withdraw, four will be exit. Afterwards, we will set a choice variable to equal some user input. Input, enter your choice one through four. We're encouraging a user to type in a number one through four to select an option. Do they want to show their balance, make a deposit, make a withdrawal, or exit? We'll add a few if and else if statements. Let's check to see if the user's choice is equal to one. And that is a string of one. Our user input is a string data type, unless we were to typecast it to something else. If our choice is equal to one, we will call the function to show balance. Else if our choice is equal to two, we will make a deposit by calling the deposit function. Else if choice is equal to three, we will call the withdraw function. Else if choice is equal to four, that means we would like to exit. So we need to exit this while loop. We can do that by setting our variable of is running, is this program running, equal to be false to exit. If somebody types in some input that's not valid, we can handle that with an else statement. Else, let's print, that is not a valid choice. Okay, let's see what we're working with currently to test everything. We haven't written anything within these functions yet, show balance, deposit, or withdraw. So we can type one, two, three, and four to exit. Processed finished with exit code zero. So we can exit the program, we just have to select option four. With this else statement, this will execute if we type in something besides the numbers one through four, because there's no other options left. So to test that, enter your choice one through four. Uh, I'm just gonna type the word poo. That is not a valid choice. So we know that the else statement is working. Once we exit the while loop, let's print a message that says, thank you, have a nice day. If I was to type four to exit, we should exit the program. 
Thank you. Have a nice day. Let's make that H capital. Now we'll work on our functions, beginning with show balance. Currently, these two variables are global. We don't need to pass them as a parameter to these functions quite yet. We will be enclosing all of this code within a main function. We'll handle that later, though. So with show balance, all we're going to do is print. I'll use an F string. Your balance is at a dollar sign or other unit of currency of your choosing at a placeholder our balance variable and let's see what we have I will type one to show balance your balance is zero dollars I'll display our balance with two decimal places after I will add a format specifier after balance colon point to F will add two decimal places we covered format specifiers in a previous topic. So if I were to run this again, type one, we show zero dollars and zero cents. We're displaying two floating point decimal places. Now we need to make a deposit. That'll be the next function. We will define a local variable of amount equals accept some user input. Enter an amount to be deposited. Again, when we accept user input, it's a string. We'll typecast it to a number, a floating point number, because we have to include dollars and cents. We'll add some checks, though, after accepting some user input. If our amount is greater than zero, we don't want anybody to make a negative deposit. Let's print that's not a valid amount. Else, we are going to return our amount. So this function is going to return something. So within our else if statement, we will take our balance plus equals the deposit we're being returned with. This will add our deposit to our balance. Balance plus equals deposit. Let's try it. Let's show our balance. Our balance is zero dollars. We'll make a deposit of one hundred dollars exactly. Again, we'll show our balance after making the deposit. Your balance is one hundred dollars. Let's attempt to deposit negative money. We'll select two to make a deposit. We'll deposit negative $420.69. That's not a valid amount. So we have a problem. We have a type error, unsupported operand for float and none type. So within this statement, within if, within our deposit function, we're not returning anything. Let's just return zero. We have to return something. And within this if statement, we didn't return anything previously will either return zero or return a valid amount. Let's try this again. Let's make a deposit. I will attempt to deposit negative $420.69. That's not a valid amount. Our program's not crashing. That's good. Now we'll attempt to make a valid deposit. $50.01. Then show my balance. Your balance is $50.01. Okay, that is the deposit function. We'll work on the withdraw function next. We will create a local variable of amount. Accept some user input. Enter amount to be withdrawn. Our user input is gonna be a string. We will typecast it to be a floating point number. We need to check to see if our amount we're trying to withdraw is greater than our balance. Users shouldn't be able to withdraw more money than what they have in their bank account. If the amount is greater than our balance that we have, we will print insufficient funds. Else if the amount somebody's trying to withdraw is less than zero, 
we will print a different message. Amount must be greater than zero. Else we will return our valid amount. So with our if and else if statements, we do need to return something. If we take one of these routes, we will return zero. We're not making any changes. Within our else if statement, where we select choice three, we're going to take our balance minus equals the withdraw amount. Let's test this. Banking program. Let's show our balance. Our balance is zero. We'll make a deposit of $100. Show my balance again. Your balance is $100. Let's press 3 to withdraw money. Enter amount to be withdrawn. One kajillion dollars. Insufficient funds. Yeah, no kidding. Let's attempt to withdraw money again. We shouldn't be able to select a negative amount. Negative $420.69. Amount must be greater than zero. Let's enter in a valid number this time. I would like to withdraw $49.99. That has appeared to work. We'll show our balance again. Your balance is now $50.01. Then we can exit by pressing 4 to exit. Thank you and have a nice day. The last few changes I'm going to make is that I'm going to enclose all of this code, our main portion of code, within a main function just to encapsulate all of our variables and help with readability we will define a function of main. Take all of our code within the main body of our program and place it within the function. I'm just gonna select all of it and indent it. At the end of our program, we need to call a main function to run it. If you're familiar with the statement of if dunder name is equal to a string of dunder main, that means this program can be imported or run standalone. It is good practice to include this if statement. We discussed this in the previous video. If we're running this program directly, execute the main function. However, our variables of balance and is running, they're now enclosed within this local scope. These other functions have no idea what these variables are of balance. So we need to pass in our balance to those functions of withdraw and show balance. When we show our balance, we have to pass in our variable of balance. Same thing with withdraw. Then set up those parameters. Within show balance, we will have one parameter of balance. The same thing with withdraw. The last thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of text decoration around my program just to make it look nice. So I will print a bunch of asterisks. It's not necessary, but I think it'll look nice. Let's add some text decoration before and after the title of banking program. Also before our choice. Basically, whenever we print anything, we'll add some text decoration. Let's do that with show balance. Our deposit. and within withdraw. Okay, let's run this one last time. Banking program. Let's show our balance. Your balance is zero dollars. We'll make a deposit. One hundred dollars and one cent. Show our balance again. Your balance is $100.01. We will withdraw money. Enter an amount to be withdrawn. $1,000. Insufficient funds. Let's try that again. Let's withdraw $50. Show our balance again. $50.01. Then press 4 to exit. Thank you and have a nice day. Alright everybody, that is a simple banking program you can write using Python.